I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are the top five things your car's OBD port could do. The onboard diagnostic, or OBD2 port, is a way for mechanics to get info out of your car's computer. But you can use it too when they're not, which is most of the time that you're using your car. And every car made or imported into the US after January 1st, 1996 has one. Now, there are several different devices you can get from third parties or the auto manufacturers to plug into the port, but some of the best features are the same across the devices. So, here are the top five things your OBD port can do. Number one, track your driving habits. Some devices and companion apps can give you tips for better fuel economy or even tips to become a safer driver. There's even the possibility to get cheaper insurance if you don't mind the privacy implications. Coming in at number two, set geofences and speed limits. You can get alerts if the car goes too far, too fast, or someone unplugs the OBD device. Good if someone's borrowing your car, like Junior, for instance. Up to number three, add Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You can connect to your car's computer over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth that way, and some devices can even act as modems to give you an in-car hotspot and even add some smart car features. Sliding into number four, find your car. Lots of the OBD2 devices can save your location to a map. Can't find your car? Just look it up on the companion app. At number five, find out what the heck that check engine light actually means. Check engine? Check engine for what? Some apps will even look up the code and make the translation into English for you. Now these are just some of the things you can get from OBD2 plugins, and while not all devices can do all of them, now you have a better idea what to look for. So race on out, I mean very safely and responsibly, check out what's out there. And there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.